You may find this surprising, um, but despite my rakish good looks and charisma, I am a bit of a bike nerd um, and get excited by obscure cycling products. That is, this is one of the, the, the obscure cycling products I'm talking about. It is Dynaplugs Racer Tubeless Plug Tool. Now, there are two types of people in this world. People that use road tubeless tires, like me, legends, and plebs, like you probably, with your inner tubes and talcum powder. Talcum powder should be used for gymnasts, hands, and your bum, not in your tires, okay? No, not really, it's not quite that clear cut. Um, I think the technology is yet to fully mature. It shows promise, and I would jump on that bandwagon sooner rather than later. A contemporary of mine over on Bike Radar, Matthew Loveridge, wrote a very good sensible bit of journalism on the state of road tire, road tubeless technology, uh, state of play, that I highly recommend you go and read if you want to want the lowdown. Yes, I'm directing you to a competitor's website, but it's a good bit of journalism, so my bosses will just have to get over that. If you can get your head around the compatibility issues and the technical setup of tubeless, a bit of maintenance involved too, there are lots of benefits to be had. Um, I'm definitely a convert um, in terms of more comfort, more grip. I mean, you can probably get more this better rolling resistance or something too, but I don't really go fast enough to really care about that. I just like it because it's comfy and I can lean over further in corners. Rad. So yes, with tubeless technology, you've got no inner tube. The tubeless tire seats directly into the rim and you've got the sealant plugging within the within the tire cavity, plugging up lots of little uh, punches if you get them, you might not even notice the benefit of tubeless, you can get a little puncher, sealant sprays in, uh, fills the gap, and you don't even notice. But for bigger cuts, like if you go over a bit of glass or something like that, sealant might not be quite up to the job, which is where this little doofer comes in. It is physically unimpressive, a bit dull, but totally ingenious. We'll insert no, wrong one. A little plug into the into the big slash uh, helps occupy the space for the sealant to just fill in the gaps like little blood platelets. And then all you need to do is top up the pressure in your tire, and you're good to go again. And this will let I'll show you this little thing here. It's like black gummy stuff meshes with the tire, and you can carry on using the tire uh, for its natural life. Um, it will not compromise the integrity of the tire. Now, this specifically is the latest version of the racer. It is lighter than the other one. The other one comes in nice aluminium anodized KH style um, casings. This one is nylon composite, so it's a bit lighter. 14 grams, which is nothing. I mean, I can't even feel it in my hand, so you won't feel it in a uh, jersey pocket or a, a saddlebag. So there are two tips of it. Twin tip, like Darth Maul's lightsaber from Star Wars. Remember that one? Wicked. Yes, and you insert one tip. That's for regular sized holes. That is for like if you've gone over a landmine or something or a massive bit of jagged metal, which I did the other day. Nightmare. is is wider to, to fill up bigger holes. Um, you just push it into the tyre, take it back out, that gummy stuff gets stuck in the tyre. Jobs are good. There are a few different plug solutions on the market, definitely it's not a new product, but I think, in my opinion, this is by far the most cleanly executed, most usable product. So go and check them out, buy some tubeless tyres, and you might even feel confident going out without an inner tube in your back pocket, looking all saggy, bulky, and weird. Check it out.